Hello everyone and blessed be. I didn't expect to be making a second video today, but my son went and got the mail and there's just two things I had to share. Um, normally, when I buy a single ingredient or something like that, whether for witchcraft or not, um, I won't show it unless I have a haul going on, unless there's something very unique about it. And... Um, I expect to just open the envelope and get the ingredient I ordered, just like the eucalyptus leaves. I showed that one just because I happened to have other things to show at the time. But when I opened this one, I knew I had to share. So this is from Herbalist Homestead on Etsy. And as soon as I opened it, <clears throat> I knew I had to share. So just the effort and the sweet way she did this I just I, I wanted you guys to see it these are already open because I started doing this video and I had a sneezing attack so <laughs> so this is a sample um, let me get the paper out isn't that sweet so this is fall in green buyer briar briar Tennessee and it's a little tea light very softly scented but then again I've been sniffing waxes since for the last video and since then so <laughs> and this is winter in green buyer briar again the same sweet little sample card and the little tea light. I just think that's so sweet. And then this is how it's wrapped up. So here is the card. And again, I got this from Etsy. She's a certified herbalist. That's impressive. Greenhouse grown and hand harvested. Just love that. I'll put a link down below too to the Etsy store. And uh, look at that, it's wrapped up in twine. It is so cute. Oops. User error. So let's see what this says says, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate your purchase so much. Thank you for supporting my passion. Please contact me with any future questions or if you have any concerns with your order. I would love some feedback on your order. Even if you do not like the product or your seeds do not grow, please let me know. And then it gives her email address. And she does have a lot of great things. And that's why I like... <clears throat> She grows and picks these herself. So I just got some common garden sage. I didn't want the crushed up kinds. I wanted more of a close to whole leaf um, for an intent. And also because I've been doing that simmering um, of the herbs on the stove to help with uh, the respiratory and the virus and the smoke and all that crap that's going on. But, so it tells what it is, it tells the year it was picked and dried, and then this is six, six grams. Isn't that awesome? I'll rip into it. And like I said, normally when I buy an ingredient, I just, I don't expect freebies or, or all the special attention that she spent on this. So, I was very amazed. This thing is packed full. It is so packed. It's not coming out. There we go. Look at that. Just beautiful. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And you know what? I know white sage is a big thing. And I have white sage smudge sticks. And I have white sage dried. And um, But again, like with that Pacific Northwest book, I am trying to get to things that I can grow. I was growing my own sage. The plant just kind of went belly up. 
<laughs> so it's not local. It's not Pacific Northwest. But when I read that she grew these and she handpicked them, there I just felt a connection to that. I thought that was really awesome. So again, I will put her information down in the description. Go out and check. She has a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. And let me put all this over here. Then my son walked in with this. And I got so excited I could barely stand it. And there's a little backstory that you have to suffer through. Or you could just fast forward. <clears throat> I had, um, somebody had posted um, a kind of witchy dragon picture on a group I'm in. And I was so drawn to that picture. I mean, just like a spiritual connection with that picture. And I couldn't stop looking at it. And I went and I hunted it down. And I <clears throat> found the artist <clears throat> who was in the UK. And I was looking around at all his stuff. He does amazing work. Amazing work. And I emailed him because I found... The print I liked, but it came in a set of three that were um, smaller than I was hoping. Not that they were tiny by any means, but I asked him if he sold just the one I was looking for in a bigger version. And he said, no, he was sorry. It comes in the in the um, three, the set of three. And I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> and um, it very reasonably reasonably priced for amazing art um and you know it came from the uk so shipping is what it is so it was 35 pounds or about 45 45 44 dollars us and then flat rate shipping which was about 14 but i had ordered this in july and <clears throat> Those in the U.S. and those out of the U.S. know what happened to our postal service here. And I waited until the beginning of September and I sent him an email and I said, Hey, do you happen to have the tracking on that? I haven't gotten it yet. And he said he was out of town at the time, but he would just send me another one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if it, you know, comes right now? And he said something about the U.S. Postal, and he's 100% right. He was so nice. Um, and that was uh, like the first part of September, and he sent this out September 11th, and it came today. And I am so excited. I can barely stand it. Um, I'm afraid to open it because I don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to... Oh, please be okay. Okay, there's a stopper here. <laughs> um, and if you've watched any of my videos, or if you know me, you know my special connection with dragons. And, uh, I'm trying to be so careful. Okay, okay. I was so afraid that the U.S. Postal Service was going to deny me this forever. Oh, this, what? Okay, they're bigger than I thought. Um, um, <laughs> these are way bigger than I thought. I didn't have the camera set up to, let me see. And this is not the one, but oh, let me get him out of the <clears throat> plastic. I'm beside myself right now. Way bigger than I had thought in my head. That's what I get for not taking out a tape measure and figuring it out myself. I always fall terribly short when I do that. Oh my god. Okay. So again, this isn't the one that caught my eye. However, <clears throat> I'm gonna, it's like, is a sepia? 
But just look at the detail. Look at her. Look at the one eye to the other. You got the ear. You got this horn that looks so incredibly natural. And then you come down, and down here is a dragon. Whoops! Dragon. And there's his signature. Oh my gosh, these are all getting framed. <sighs> okay. So the next one. Okay. I'm going to save that one for last. Oh, this, this set of three is called Mothers. That's the name of this set. So here is the next one. I'm trying to get all of it in there. I mean the emotion the the detail. The emotion on these is just phenomenal. Look at the wings, tattered, old, torn, even the hands, it's just amazing and invokes so much emotion. Thank you. I think he, uh, hand sign these. Holy crap. <sighs> okay, now here's the one that got me the feels all over the place. Um, I hope this does it justice. I'm going to pull back. I not only fell in love with this picture, I fell into this picture. Um, it moved me again. Now at first, you know, if you look at it really quick, you just think it's an older crone type woman with some dragons. But when you really start looking, so you have the horns, you have this Horny, raised brow. Look at her face. And then back here, you have this. And the back of her gown is like this. And then as you go down her arms, those are forearms and her elbows. And then this tail does not belong to any of these other dragons. That's her. And I just couldn't stop staring at it. It it was like that's my that's my ancestor. That's my uh, I don't know how to explain it. I was just so incredibly moved. Um, just leaves me speechless. And to be holding it. And the size, and yeah, I did. He did hand sign it because there's his printed signature. Oh my god, he is incredible. You guys really have to go check out his other his other works. He is in the UK, so if you're in the UK, that's going to be a lot easier for you. If you're in the US, just know he is true to his word. He is very kind, very skilled. But he is not responsible for the crap going on with our U.S. Postal Service. So, the first time he sent it was when things were really bad with our Postal Service. And, I mean, they're still bad. But, um, with him, with that issue now being supposedly dealt with, hopefully... That's why I got the second one. But, wow, right? They're too big to show all in one because, I, again, I didn't expect 
the size and I am emotional. I am so moved. His work is just, there's so much more to it than just the image you're looking at. It, it literally does pull you right in, um, or it did me. And I feel so honored to have, have these and it was worth every penny, every penny. So I absolutely had to share that with you. Oh my God. I have to go get them framed. I'm going to put them back in the tube so I don't do anything crazy with them. But I had to share that with you. And again, I will put the link to his information and his website down in the description below. And Stephen, you are amazing. Blessed be.